from Shanksville to the Pentagon and the 9-11 Memorial in New York City. Thomas W. Duffy, Antoinette Duger. A day of mourning, moments of silence and remembrance as we honor the victims of the September 11th attacks. 2,977 people died on that terrible day, making it the deadliest terror attack in history. Many of us will never forget exactly where we were when we learned about the attacks. We have team coverage from today's memorial in Shanksville, where everyone on Flight 93 lost their lives. Nicole Ford spoke with victims' relatives, but we begin with Ross Gadotti on President Trump's message in Shanksville today. Ross. 19 years after an abandoned strip mine became hallowed ground, twin bells rang for each one of the 40 passengers and crew of United Airlines Flight 93, whose heroism made it so. It has been 19 years, but sometimes it seems like yesterday. The wounds never truly close completely. The memories of our loved ones linger like a mist or a soft breeze. With a mist hanging over it and a soft breeze blowing, this year's commemoration saw a small gathering, mostly family members of those lost and others who work as ambassadors for park visitors. And of course, the keynote speaker was President Donald Trump. When terrorists race to destroy the seat of our democracy, the 40 of Flight 93 did the most American of things. They took a vote and then they acted. The president's remarks included references and reflections on those who chose to fight to take over a flight deck of a doomed airliner, an act that would cost them their lives, but assure other survival. In this Pennsylvania field, the 40 intrepid souls of Flight 93 died as true heroes. So much has changed since that horrible day, but one thing all of those who spoke pointed out is while time marches on, the act of heroism and selflessness of 40 common people in an airliner on September 11, 2001 cannot be forgotten. It's now a place of reflection and a, repl a place that I see hope for the future and the future generations. At the Flight 93 Memorial in Shanksville, Ross Gadotti, KDKA News. Joe Biden and his wife Jill visited the Flight 93 Memorial hours after the president was there. They took part in a wreath-laying ceremony. Biden said the bravery of the victims and first responders astounds him. My mom used to say, Joey, bravery resides in every heart. And someday it'll be summoned. It will be summoned. The question is, will you respond? People responded. I mean, it is absolutely incredible.